Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can record your laptop screen, your computer screen, whatever screen you want to record. Uh, it doesn't work for consoles of course because you can't download this on your console. But basically you just go on obsproject.com, this is free and it also works for live streaming as well in case you want to live stream on Twitch or something like that. And so basically it works on Windows, OS X and Linux, so Mac, Windows and Linux in case you um, use a different one that wasn't available or you didn't, didn't know was available. So I'm running Windows 10, just press download, it's simple as that, and then the installer should open. So it's fairly simple to use OBS. Once you set everything up, like you can just press start recording and it'll record just like a normal screen recorder and it's great that it's free. I'm actually using this recorder right here called Camtasia Recorder. It comes with the editing software right here, but it is like $300, so this is <laughs> way cheaper. and. It also is like pretty good. It isn't some like really bad screen recorder that's just free for because it's bad. It actually is good. It's one of the most known screen recorders and it's free. So that's good. And press next, agree. This is the installer setup thingy. So once it finishes, it should open up OBS and I'll show you how to like record your screen and choose what to re like record and you know what settings you have to d use before just starting your recording. So we just press finish and then it should open up right here. Okay, so basically if you just press start recording, it won't work. It says you don't have any sources added or like, yeah. So basically you'll be recording a black screen. So what you want to do is just press add. And then here, I usually do window capture because I, I can choose like right here. I can choose which window I am recording. But in case you want to record more than one window at once, you can just press monitor capture here. And then yeah, and then you can press um, preview stream and you'll see it. And like you'll see right here, you'll see that I'm on Windows. Yeah, but if you want to record just one, one uh, window, you can just do that. So let me just delete this right here. So if we want to do like one specific uh, window, you can just do that. So I'll do Chrome because I usually do my tutorials on that. Press OK. And see, you'll see it's right there. And then basically what you want to do is if you want to add a webcam or like a face cam, just press video capture device here. I do have one. It's the Logitech C920 HD webcam. And here you can do custom resolution because you don't want to cover the entire screen. So just make it smaller. So maybe I want to make it like this big. And here you got to know that if you have like gameplay or like, yeah, if you have gameplay in the background or like a screen recording, like you're recording something else and not just your face only, you will have to disable the audio because it'll be like playing the same audio at the same time. It'll make it echo. So just disable it. And then basically if you preview the stream, you'll see that I'm in the corner right here. It looks kind of weird. I don't know why I'm square. Press properties and then I'll like change it to this one. Maybe, maybe that way yeah, I will change it. Yeah. So there. And then now basically what you can do is change the settings. This is very important. Um, you can change the language. That's not really important. Encoding if you want it to be MP3. Now AAC, you can change the bitrate up, you can change the channel. So if you want it to stereo sound instead of mono and broadcast settings, this is important right here. Basically, if you're not live streaming, you just want to record your screen, you can have, you have to choose file output only and you would have to change it to MP4 or like whatever um, video format you want. You can change it. You can stay, make it stay at FLV, but I'm sure you guys would like want MP4 or something like that or another. Um, because not a lot of people are very familiar with alpha, uh, FLV uh, videos format. So just press apply and then here video, you can choose your video adapter. So here I have HD, Intel HD graphics. You can choose like want the which monitor uh, or you can just do custom resolution here or you can downscale it, which is like, I don't know why you would want to downscale it. And you can also change it to like 60 FPS if you want. If your monitor is like that. And then here you can choose the default audio device. Mine right here is the Blue Yeti. That's what I record with. And yeah. So then there's like some shortcuts you can add in case you want to do that. And yeah, so that's basically all you have to know. And also you can do a game capture. So what this is, is basically like select uh, which application you're using. Um, it'll make it less laggy if you do just like the monitor capture. So if you want to like once you League of Legends, it'll like appear in here and you can just select it. And then, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, tell me what you think, because this is really, really good. And it's really good for those YouTubers who don't have like enough money to buy a real, like, like real software. But this is, this is as good as it gets. Honestly, it's not bad at all. It's like tall.
is at the top. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button. And yeah, my name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.